Hello everyone, my name is Billy and today we're going to be talking about what is a quantum computer. Imagine you have a giant jigsaw puzzle that represents a tough problem that you want to solve. Solving it with a regular computer is like trying to find the right piece by trying one piece at a time, just like me and you would do, but this could take forever. So let me introduce you to a quantum computer. It's like a super fast puzzle solving machine as it can explore many possible solutions at the same time. Quantum computers have a special puzzle piece called qubits. Unlike regular puzzle pieces me and you would use, the qubits that quantum use can be two different shapes and colours at the same time. With these special pieces, the quantum computer can examine all the possibilities at once and find the right piece, completing the puzzle instantly. To explain how quantum works, we need to get a tiny bit technical, but don't worry, I'll try to keep it simple. Regular computers work off bits, which can be a zero or a one. But with quantum computers, we have quantum bits, or qubits for short. Qubits can be 0 or 1, or both 0 and 1 simultaneously. Qubits can also effectively talk to each other, so they can explore all different options at the same time and communicate that to each other to solve the problem quicker. Now imagine this maze represents a really tough problem that regular computers would take forever to solve. Quantum computers, using its superstition and entanglement, can explain all these possible paths at the same time and instantly find the solution. Quantum computing could revolutionise cryptography, making our online information more secure from hackers. It could also supercharge drug discovery, which could lead to groundbreaking innovations. Imagine having super fast optimization for logistics, making shipping and transportation more efficient than ever before. And let's not forget about quantum simulations, which could help us understand complex problems like climate change. There are so many possibilities with quantum computing, and a lot of them we are unaware of today. I hope you enjoyed this introduction into quantum computing. Remember, the possibilities are endless, and it will be interesting to see where we are in 10 years time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and come back next Monday for a brand new video.